I don't know if you guys have heard, but left and right, I've been seeing cases pop up across social media claiming that the Pentagon is aware of the potential fact that there is a mothership that are sending smaller spaceships down to Earth and it's in our solar system. Let's listen to this. A new government report is raising eyebrows across the country, especially among anyone interested in extraterrestrials. Our Alexandra Lamont has a story. Physicist and Harvard professor Avi Loeb says there's a possibility humans aren't the only civilization in the universe. Whether we live in such a reality or not, is not a philosophical question, we just have to look out. Loeb teamed up with the Pentagon office that investigates unidentified aerial phenomenon and they released this draft report that indicates it is possible that alien ships have already visited our solar system. It is possible that they've already been here. Hmm. We've been saying that. Specifically, Loeb thinks the first interstellar object spotted passing through our solar system in 2017 that was given the name Oumuamua could be an extraterrestrial mothership. Ah, he thinks Oumuamua was the mothership. What? Loeb says Oumuamua didn't have the characteristics you'd find in meteors or other known objects. We consider a possibility where an object as big as Oumuamua, which was... Um, football field size, uh, is a mothership. He says the mothership could have released smaller ships or probes to study our solar system after spending a long time to get here. With chemical rockets, it takes less than a billion years to traverse the entire Milky Way galaxy. Loeb says if Oumuamua was a ship, there likely wasn't life on it. If it was a ship, there wasn't life on it. Explain yourself. Instead, he believes it could have been operated by artificial intelligence. An artificial intelligence system that uh, stays dormant for that period and just gets activated when it comes close to its target. Uh, going off the video that we watched yesterday, what he just said actually makes a whole lot of sense. Think about it. Like, if it takes so long to cross our galaxy and, and universe, then it would only make sense that if there was a mothership that was in our solar system, it was inhabited by not extraterrestrial, but artificial life forms that have the power switch to turn on or turn off based upon, you know, proximity. And in this case, their proximity was Earth. So maybe then they turned on. But if they're sending smaller ships or sending the signal to let smaller ships come and visit us, where are those ships coming from? Who or what are those ships inhabited by? If not some form of artificial intelligence, then what? Y'all leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Things are getting interesting. What would I tell y'all? We're getting close. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.